So, from a sensitive teeth to something absolutely fantastic, which is a recipe that you need to hear, especially if you're entertaining, stay right there. The season to give. This Christmas, it's all about appreciating those happy little moments. Here we go. So you know what? It's summer. It's coming. And I mean, not winter is coming. We don't, we don't do that chance. No, it's summer now. Now, what we do need is some entertaining. And the thing is, sometimes entertaining means that you have to bring the bread out. Because bread, the bry bucky can only go so far. The bread makes things go further, as you know this. So that's why I do believe that you can't stay in the kitchen kneading all the time. What you need is something called a Clement. And what you need is an amazing bread recipe. And that's what he's about to show you right now. So Clement, here we go. Wow, full name. Uh, sorry, I, you know, a full name actually works for me because I feel that sometimes, I mean, it's like my name, Carl. You can't just say, hey, Carl. It doesn't work. So I thought Clement would be nice. Also, I like your name. It's got a ring to it. That's French. That's great. It says Clement. Yeah, so yeah. I, I do believe that you got some bread recipe for me. So this lockdown yes. brought out the bakers. They're like the butchers. People became steak experts. People became like just food experts in general. Yeah. And I like that Woolies have like caught on to that. And they've made it easier for people to kind of like continue this at home chef trend. So all the bread kits that have come out this year are amazing. And I want to say something, and I, I know everyone's thinking it. If you're going to buy it and you, like, you're like, oh, okay, the bread's nice. But how amazing that they actually come in these ceramic dishes. Okay, you know what? That, that's the thing. And, and the great thing about coming in ceramic dishes, they make great gifts. So you can just leave it at someone's yes, place. You know, you don't exactly. have to clean it up. You just leave it there. And also a dish for you, because that's versatile. I'll have breakfast in that. Like a shakshuka, bake it in the oven? Yes. The eggs on there, the tomato there sauce? Go. Absolutely, I love it. Okay, so I need your help with this um, one. I'm ready for you. That's why I'm here. How you, are, you, are you good at like, how are your roasting skills? I, I can roast so well. You have no idea. Okay. Right. Like, I can roast, not, not people. But I can roast with it. What do you want me to roast? Talk to me. Okay, I was gonna say, do you wanna? No, no, no. Leave the presenters alone. No. Leave them. It's fine. Oh, never. But never. Okay. Ad break. <laughs> so, I want you to roast some peppers for me, and I'm, I'm really happy with the peppers, not because it's almost got my family name. Yes. That's... Padron. Yeah. Okay. These are delicious, delicious peppers, exclusive to Woolies. They are so sweet. They're so delicious, and they got just the right amount of heat to make you feel like, okay, this is a pepper. But it's not like uh, extremely okay. like blow your head off hot. So I want you to enhance the flavor for me. Okay. I've got this kebab skewer. Yes. You can open those up, skewer them, and directly over the flame, if you can start charring them. I can do that, no you can problem. Do that. I'm gonna, let's go. I'm gonna I'll give be you some... your char man, okay? Okay, let's swap. Let's go, swap it out though, skewer oh. at the ready. Oh, That's Graham, fine. Graham's like warming Graham up. Graham walks past and goes, Prince Char Ming. Do you ah. know do you know what he's doing? He's actually warming up because he wants to go for a roasting. Oh, he wants to have a little yes. throwdown. He wants to have a dig. Oh, no, no. We'll, we, guys, it's a family show. Let's just keep it, keep it, keep it PG. Keep, not even PG, just keep it for everyone. Okay, cool. Great. So we're going to do the tear and share bread. Do you know in some cultures, it's kind of like frowned upon for people to use a knife to cut bread? They actually what? believe bread should be broken with your hand and shared, never yes. cut with a knife. And I like that. That's like, it's really like, I just like food that has so much tradition and culture behind it. So, so we're doing, wow, you're doing the right thing. Can you hear that? Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the pop of the peppers. That's the why they the call peppers? it chili poppers. I, I actually was lying. I don't know why. That's probably not why they call it chili poppers. But, but it's, it's good. It's, okay. It's, now it's working for me. You know, you're doing the right thing. That's a okay. party trick now. So I'm going to go with the tear and share bread. I'm using the sun-dried tomatoes and the basil pesto version. Oh. It's so delicious. Really it's so good. so good. I, I, it does. I just, I'd read sweetness there, and then I'm thinking about this beautiful... Uh, this, this flavor on the background there, touch of zing. Oh, yes, man. Yes. This is why I, I wake up in the morning for, for recipes like this. I like it. Thank you Gordon. so much. I appreciate that. No, that's that. I'm sorry I called you Clement earlier. I'm going to call no, you No, 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 you can. I'm, because I'm... now we're tight. You gave okay, me this yes, job. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. That's I got it. pulled over by a traffic cop and he even called me by like, just Clem. Really? Yeah, I didn't get a fine. Okay. But I, it was just a routine check. I was like, you know, you know. He wanted it? a recipe, that's why. He pulled you over, not for the traffic offense, but the recipe. is the recipe. I, I, I appreciate that, that. That's good. That one time when you made that babuati, what is the recipe, Clem? That's what he actually wanted to ask. True story. If you want to check out that babuati recipe, it's on my Instagram, I the knew babuati it. pie. Check it out. We love it. We made it right here. Go get the recipe. Okay. <laughs> I knew you would so, say that. Oh, my word. <laughs> okay. The butter goes in. Olive oil goes in. And olive oil is great because olive oil actually keeps the bread moist. Yes. Adds a lot of texture to it and flavor. Salt. You know what the one mistake with, with bread is? People don't add enough seasoning to it. It needs, it needs salt. So the salt goes in. And that's going like, to kind of like break up in there as it's busy cooking. All right. Mix it in. Buttermilk. 
Buttermilk, also a bit of the tenders, a lot of the flavor coming through. I, I like buttermilk as well. You know what I, I enjoy buttermilk for for marinating chicken. Hundred percent. I think that what the, I feel like the proteins, the, the little you know amino acids in there, something just kind of breaks down the the proteins. Doctor Wasty, Doctor uh, Wasty. Those correct. are good. Those are good. I'm you good. know. Yes. So what I want to do is you can pop those on there. All I did was a little bit of olive oil went over them uh, and a little sprinkling of salt. Off, yeah? You're good. You're good. Okay, good. Oh no, it's shame. You're gonna almost. Did you burn? No, no. Why would I burn? I didn't burn. Yeah, that's off, that's off. Okay, so that's, you can... So, I need brand, that's why. I need brand, yeah. okay. Can you open this for me, a little bit of scissors for you? do that. So... This is a dry mix. The dry mix. So your sun-dried tomato and your basil flavor comes inside there, and as soon as you add it through, you can actually oh, mix it in for me. Are we going to do this? Are we going to do it. dump or just a sprinkle? All of it, all of it, all of it. Wow. All of it. Beautiful. Okay. Done and dusted. There we go. So... Can you smell the sun-dried tomatoes already? I can. It's very fragrant. It, it really is. is. From a small packet like that, it is super fragrant. And already I can tell that there's going to be a, a flavor in there on the, and also on the nose. I think that sometimes we kind of discredit what a nose can do for a, for a dish. A little extra percent to kind of elevate its flavor. So I can, I can feel that completely. Absolutely, You are putting this recipe on the expressoshow.com. Please say so because I'm going to take it. Yeah. You need it. You need it. I need but that. the best part of it, 90% of the recipe is just getting the tear and share bread. Well, and okay, so getting I, a bucky. There we go. Yeah. You get the bucky, Anna. Yeah. So, okay, normally what you do is I'd shape little tiny balls out of it like we've done here, just to kind of speed up the process right now. I'm just going to add the whole thing, which you can do at home as well. And then you just press it down into the dish, get some poppy seeds. And I mean, this, you know, this is great. I'm, I'm focusing on a bowl here because sometimes when you've got a friend of yours and you've been to their place and you know they can't cook, but you don't want to say that to them directly, you hand them this as a gift. And you say, make your own bread. And they'll be like, oh, my well, word, thank you so much. I made you bread last time. You say, yeah. well, try this one. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. The bread last time, it Was. tasted more like cardboard. So this, it's foolproof. It is foolproof. Yeah. You can't get it wrong. OK, like I said, you can shape it into tiny little balls. I've just add all the dough to there now. Goes into the oven, comes yes. out looking like that. We serve it with our pedram peppers. A little bit of olive oil goes over, maybe a squeeze of lemon, a little bit of salt, because these, like I said, they sweet. You want a nice balance. A little bit of that cheese. You and I oh, had a cheese conversation. Yes. We love good cheese. We, we do. We love it. Yes. It, it is good. And that's gouda. It's a mature... I mean, I like how you say gouda. Yes. That's, yes, it's gouda. Yes. That's mature gouda with the peppers, a little bit of olive oil, balsamic, bread, tea, dip, eat, cheese, face. Perfect. You know what? The thing is about creating an appetite is that we need to actually recap because we didn't listen to anything because our mm. tongues were out. Let's recap for a second and give you that uh, beautiful recipe.